Hey, welcome back to Damn Tasty Vegan. It's your friend Maria Rose. Today, we're gonna make some five ingredient vegan dinners. So this is great for college students who are just learning to cook for themselves. This is also great for the nights where you really don't feel like cooking, but you wanna eat something homemade. We're gonna make seitan fajitas. These are packed with protein. And then a high protein creamy pasta dish and a super simple black bean soup. It's high in protein as well because of the black beans. So hey, all of these recipes are high in protein protein as well. So if you need some simple vegan dinner ideas, then let's hang out for a bit and let's make them together. And if you want even more easy five ingredient recipes, make sure to check out my five ingredient vegan dinner one month meal plan. It's part of the lazy vegan toolkit and I'll pin it in the comments below. Up first is this creamy mushroom lentil pasta, super easy. So first we want to saute our mushrooms and make sure you dampen a napkin or a towel and wipe off the outer edges of the mushrooms to get the dirt off. And after we saute the mushrooms a bit, we just add our marinara sauce. I had a can of tomatoes that I needed to use up, so I added those in as well. Plus I love like the texture of like chunky tomatoes in my pasta. Then after the sauce has simmered for a bit, we're gonna add our cream. So I'm adding some full fat canned coconut milk. You can also use unsweetened dairy-free yogurt or vegan mayonnaise. That works really well as well. So whatever you have on hand, then for some extra texture and protein, we're adding in a can of drained and rinsed lentils. I love lentils. If you don't like lentils, you can also add in chickpeas or you can add in like a veggie ground beef, uh, like beyond beef or something like that. But we're just gonna keep it nice and healthy. So we're using lentils. Now we're gonna make our pasta. You can use a high protein pasta like chickpea or lentil pasta. Or if you wanna keep it a little more affordable, you can just use, use like whole wheat pasta. So whatever's in your budget, use that. And once the pasta's all cooked, then you just dish it up and enjoy. You can top it with some nutritional yeast or some dairy-free plant-based Parmesan cheese, whatever you can find. Super simple, healthy, and delicious. Up next, we have these ridiculously easy seitan fajitas. So for first we got to get our seitan. You can either make it at home. I am putting out a recipe video for this next week I'll link it in the description box below once it's out or you can buy it from the store This stuff has 70 grams of protein per 100 grams. So super high in protein But if you're allergic to gluten don't eat this stuff because it's just like pure gluten <laughs> so once you Add some oil to a pan and fry the seitan on one side for about four minutes. Just flip them onto the other side and fry for another four minutes. Then we're gonna add a jar of fajita marinade or I used a beef marinade. It was like garlic and pepper beef marinade. And a lot of these jarred meat marinades are accidentally vegan. This was a Stubbs beef marinade. So good, highly recommend this stuff. So add your marinade in. And then we're gonna add in our sliced mushrooms. Remember again, to wipe them off to get all the dirt off and let that saute down for a bit for about five minutes once the mushrooms start to cook down. Then I always keep a bag of this frozen bell pepper and onion blend on hand in the freezer. It saves my butt so much because so many recipes call for peppers and onions and it's so nice to just have them all chopped up and ready to go. So let that all cook on the stove until all the veggies are warmed through and then get yourself a tortilla and you can either put some black beans or refried beans on the bottom of your tortilla then just pile on the fajitas on top. And last but not least, we have this super simple black bean soup. So if we are gonna grab that frozen pepper and onion blend and we're gonna saute that down for a minute or two and then we're gonna add in some chopped carrots. And then we're gonna add in about one to two tablespoons of cumin. Now really make sure to watch this because we only wanna toast the cumin for like a minute. Make sure the cumin doesn't burn. We just wanna toast and brighten up the flavor of the cumin. So after about a minute, we're gonna add in about four cans of drained and rinsed black beans. That's just the 14.5 ounce cans of black beans. And then you can add in vegetable broth, but I didn't have that on hand, so I just poured in water. Then just add enough to where it covers covers everything a little bit, but it, there's not a ton of water in there because we want this soup to be kind of thick. And then I added in some salsa, maybe about a half of a cup to a cup of salsa, kind of, you know, that's up to you how much you want to add in. Stir it up nice and well, and then we want to season it with some salt. 
Uh, you can also put like a veggie bouillon cube in there if you have that. Then let it simmer on the stove for about 15 to 20 minutes. We want all the flavors to kind of like merge together. And if it starts to lose too much liquid, just add a splash of water or veggie broth. After it's done simmering, we want to thicken the soup up even more. So just get a potato masher and just mash the soup for like a minute or so. You don't want it all mashed, just parts of it mashed so that the broth thickens up a little more. Then I really love to add cream to the black bean soup. So we already had some canned coconut on hand from our other recipe, so I'm adding that in. Again, you can also use vegan mayonnaise or unsweetened dairy-free yogurt to make it nice and creamy. Then you can just top it with some of that unsweetened dairy-free yogurt and some hot sauce and enjoy. So I hope you enjoyed these easy recipes. Please let me know what you tried below or what you plan on trying. And I will see you all very soon in the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.